Hello, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I got this idea of my sister. Uh, she made one. Well, she made a long one like this and it was a men's locker. And I've turned it into a lady's dresser. And it stands up like that. Really pretty. And I've used items from the... Um, Dress to impress stamps and die set, which I've already cut all these little bits out. The main thing is making the dresser. So to get started, you will need a piece of card, eight and eleven three quarter no eleven and three quarters. That's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 8 just one of them you need a piece of card at 3 and 5 8 by 4 inches and that will go that way a piece of card at 2 inches and I think it's 7 and 5 8 let me see I haven't cut it off I will cut it off once I go to stick it on or seven and three quarters but we'll trim that down when it's time then you'll need a piece of card at four and five eighths by one inch to decorate it you'll need two pieces of white which I'm using white cardstock at two inches by one and seven eighths and then a piece at three and a half by two and a half. I'm using the woven thread designer series paper. So this is three and three eighths by two and three eighths, and that will sit on there. And I have two pieces at one and three quarters by one and seven eighths, and they will sit on like that. That's for the other one. You'll also need two white pieces at seven eighths by three and a half. So you need two of them, which I've got here. And then you'll need six at one and seven eighths by five eighths. And I do have six of them. Yeah. And then of course you'll need bits to decorate, which I have got the side of me my so-called mirrors these are a spellbinder die um, I did originally cut these from the stitch pretty label dies but they were too small and then I looked through my stash and I found these so that's them and they've already got the backs on I've got a bottle of perfume which I'll show you what I'll do with it a pair of shoes and this time I should glue them properly rather than one above the other and a lipstick and I've also got this to go on the back of the dresser have a beautiful day and I got that from very Versailles stamp set and I've also got a couple of flowers so they will all go Put away till we need them at the end and that at the end and our drawers and then our decorated bits so first off what we need to do is a score so I'll bring up the scoreboard I'm gonna have to stand up for this move and push my light out of the way right what we're going to do is <clears throat> take the long bit four and one eighth by eleven and three quarters and we're going to score at two inches all right then yeah turn it over and score at four inches 
turn it round. Oh, hang on. Right, that's the right way. Turn it round and score it two inches. Turn it over and score it four inches. That'll be so when we fold it all, it will be scored in the right place. Right, the three and five eighths by four, you want the four inches across the top, and you just want to score that at two inches. I'll put that to a side because I need to rub that off. This one inch by four and five eighths, what you need to do is score it at half an inch. Turn it round and score it at half an inch. Um, this bit, we don't need to score it. That's all our scoring done. <coughs> so, take this bit and we fold this over. And then we fold this over. So you're folding so it's like that. Do the same here. So we're going to fold this over and then fold this one back on itself. So when you've finished folding and scoring, it will look like that. I hope I made that clear. Right, let me just get my rubber out. I know you won't see him, but I'd rather you couldn't see him. Right, now we're just going to fold these half inch ends under or over. And these will, oh I never showed you what it can do, these will act as the stopper for the shelf. Let me just move them a minute, I forgot. Right, this will fit in a DL or a letter envelope. So you just push the top of the dresser up and then just push it down like that. And then you just stick it in a DL envelope and that will go in just like that. I should have showed you that to start with. And then you pull it back up and push that down. Now there is a bit, I don't know if you can see it in here, that actually stops that from falling right down. Like that. So that's what that bit's for to stop the shelf from falling down. Right then, we've got this piece here. And we're going to fold that in half. That's actually the shelf. Right now, then, need some glue. What we're going to do is stick this along here. So what we're going to stick this right side on first. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to glue. that bit first and then I'm going to place that right at the edge and the bottom making sure it's on even
and then we're going to get this and we're going to glue that on best way to do that is turn that back and what we're going to do is butt this right up against that card then we know it's on properly so I'm gonna put some glue on and we're going to butt this up Make sure it's right up and right up the edge. And that is like that. And that is right up against that edge, that fold. And then what we're going to do is do that side. make sure that's butted right up against that corner there so we need to glue this bit Make sure that's right up. And then we trim this off. And that is the start of our dresser. Next thing we've got to do is put the brace on to stop this falling inside. Now the best way to do that is to glue Place that in right what I'm going to do is get a pencil and just do a tiny mark there fold it over and do a tiny mark there Glue the tab and you want to stick it to the second two inch. Butter up against the score line. Rub it right down. And then you want to stick the other side. Which is a bit awkward if you don't glue it first. Right. And then stick that where you marked, I can just see my mark and I've butted it up against the score line ok 
Can you see that? Where I'll put it in. And then that will go over like that. And it stops it collapsing. So I can't push it inside now. And that is the basis of our dresser. So all we've got to do now is decorate it. Now, the first thing we're going to do is decorate the back, which is this piece, which that piece goes in there. So I shall stick the paper on. Like that. And then I will pop that in there. Leaving a little border at the top and either side but I've got a what's it there we are no it's not And we have the back all decorated. Right, and we'll do the front, this, these two top panels the same. And they will pop on there. Let's place these on here. that the right way round. And we have our DSP down. And now I've got a white piece of card. I don't think I told you the size of this. Three and a half by one and seven eighths. And that will go on there. You can add DSP if you want to this, but I didn't because of sticking the lipstick and the perfume on top. I'm very good at this. There we are. Oh, 
Right, going to sit the drawers on next. So I'm going to do the small ones first. Just noticed I never brought my gem box out. There's one. Now what I did, I put one at the bottom like I've just done. Then I did the top drawer. Then I put the middle one in. Like that. You can't see me what I'm doing. Right. A tiny gap between each drawer. That's them three on. Grab the other three. I've got nails here and I'm still finding it hard to pick things up. Small gap between each one, and that's us got our drawer fronts on. Now we need to do our big drawers. We put one at the bottom and one at the top. Let's put these on. There's up. Now all we've got to do is decorate it. So, I shall go and get my gems in a minute to do the door handles. First I'm going to put the mirrors on. I just realised I never poked out the holes. Right, and we're going to stick a mirror here in the middle. Same with this one, never poked out the holes. This one on, yeah. Now 
Now then. Oh, I need to put the door handles on. Let's get my gems. I'm going to put this flat. Right. These ones I use on the big drawers. Keep them on, I am putting some glue on them. And I need my pack of glue. the big drawers done. And then we need smaller ones for the small drawers. And like the big ones I shall put a spot of glue. Making sure they're straight and do the same this end. There they are. Our oh. drawers handles on. Put these away. And now we can start attaching our stuff on top. All right, to do that, we do need it flat. And we do need some dimensionals, and we do need a scrap piece of white card. I've got this to stick these on. Right, I'm going to stick our shoes on, so I'm going to have them both as if they're on the floor. On the other one, one of them's quite. Um, high up and doesn't look like it's on the floor. So I'm going to glue that one down first. Then I'm going to glue this one on top of it but to the side of it so you can see both shoes all right let me get two dimensionals two big ones 
And these are for the flowers. One there. And one there. Right, I'm going to stick this one on first. And I'm going to stick that like that to the back. And then this one I'm going to put over the top like that. Oh, try to turn the back and off. Right. Yeah. Now then, that I'll put on in a minute. Right here, I have got one already paint, one plain one, and I'm going to stick them together to make them stiffer. But what I need is a bit of card underneath. And I'm just going to fold this in half. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick half of it inside the bottle, making sure that the crease is on the outside, it's level. And this is the stand to make it stand up. And then what I'm going to do is glue this on just to give it a bit of extra support when it's standing up. And I'll show you my mistake on my other one. If when you fold it under down, these sometimes might come down and look at the mess behind. So now that I've covered them, you haven't got that mess behind. Right, to place this on here, you actually need to make sure that the top of the bottle doesn't go over the top of that card. And that needs to fold a little bit more. So I'm just folding that up there, making sure it doesn't go all over the edge. So that's where it's going to go. So what I need to do is just glue the stand. Place it back. I put it at an angle so it looks like it's at an angle inside. Now with the glue, uh, glue, with the lipstick that is too big. So what I'm going to do is shorten the tube. So all I'm doing is a black line there. And I'm going to cut that off just underneath it. And that will go there. But I need a stand for this one. So cut it. And fold it in half. And burnish it. And like the perfume, we'll stick that in there. Now this will, because that's curved, this will show a little bit, but we need it flat. 
or straight to for it to stand Need to cut the back of this one down to meet that one. Which it does. And I'll place that over the top. But I'm actually going to trim it. I just. Uh, and I'll glue that on just to make it a bit more presentable and then we're going to glue that there And actually put that a further a bit further back there so let's glue it and Pop our box up, pop our and there we have our bottle and lipstick on the dresser. Our little decoration for the back. Hang on the back wall I popped on two dimensionals. Take them off. And we're going to pop this in between. Yeah. Like that. And that's it. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. Let's put that, straighten that up. That's it. Can't get both of them in the shot. Anyway. That's the one I just made, and that's the one I made earlier. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.